Okay then, uh, now you've already done one of these views, you've pretty much got the technique. So doing this view is going to be nice and easy. We're going to do the, the top view next. But before we can do that, we need to just make a little bit of a change to the model. So I'll show you why that is. If we go into vertex mode, change to the top view, like this, I've already zoomed into the front. We're going to do exactly the same technique. So you're going to select one row at a time and you're going to scale. But as things stand, it won't work properly. If I scale in, it's actually creating a gap in the middle of the plane. Uh, it's scaling off of the center, um, which is a big no-no. So before we start doing that, you just need to put your model into object mode, select both sides, and then select mesh combine. And that combines these two halves into one again, so that doing this top view is nice and easy. So you can then put it into vertex mode, and we're going to work our way down the length of the plane. So select one row, and then I'm just going to scale this in. You shouldn't have to move these up or down at all. It's just going to be a case of scaling these. So that's my first row done. I'm happy with my second row. That's in place. Third row I'm happy with as well. Fourth row I'm happy with. Yeah, I'm happy with all these. They all look about the right thickness. But here it's starting to taper off, as you can see. So I can save a little bit of time here by selecting them all and scaling in and then just selecting one row less each time until I get right to the back like that so this is now going to taper off right until I get to the back of the plane where I'll almost close it off completely I'm still trying my best to follow the lines. It looks to me like they've gone a little bit off center, which is peculiar. That shouldn't have happened. Um, so I'm also going to just flatten these off again. So to flatten these, I'm just going to scale down to almost halfway on each row just to make sure they stay in a line because if they go out of line I could well have problems with them later so you should be able to see just as I'm doing this I tend to do it twice just to make sure I've got it but if you do it once that should be enough don't scale past the middle because then they'll start to go the other way there we go so I'm just going to make sure that these are straightened up there we go that's fine Yep, and I don't know at what point they started going off center. There we go, that's taken care of that one. So I would imagine from here they're all still in a line. Yep, they're not moving. So that should now be champion and ready I've traced it all the way down from this view. So now as soon as I change to this front view and put it into object mode, everything is looking an awful lot nicer okay it's starting to look a lot like an aeroplane all we need to do next the next step is going to be about getting this set up to extrude some wings out now the front bit of the plane is already looking quite good for that the back bit of the plane looks as though it's going to need a little bit of work so we're going to have to look into that okay but that is a job for the next video